So someone with a really big ego. So this is somebody who thinks like they're really great. Maybe they think they're super cute or they're super attractive. So they expect all of these people to be very attracted to them and always be like, oh, you look so you look so sexy. You look so attractive. What you're wearing looks perfect. Things like that. And they get that those compliments and that feeds their sense of self. Right. They like that. It gives them a little self-esteem boost. But when we talk about narcissism and narcissism, if we use that same example, what we see is that the narcissist demands continual accolades, continual recognition about how good I look, about the things I do. And I want everyone to be attracted to me. So what we see is the individual with a big ego, they may be a little stuck up and a little snooty and a little high maintenance, you know, but narcissists, it's so pathological and so demanding of others that it, it's hard to deal with them. It's hard and it becomes very corrosive to relationships. And that typically the narcissist, again, their narcissism is fed by other people feeling broken, small, or in the attractiveness example, when you feel unattractive, then I feel attractive. Or when you're begging me for something that relates to my attractiveness or whatever it may be, then that feeds my ego. But do you have to be in the one down situation? The high ego person, I mean, they're just kind of fixated on themselves. They don't need you to feel small and broken like the narcissist does.